There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. Hey, what is up all my social comment friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Now this video is going to be a little bit different than all the other stuff that I've ever put on this channel because I've never really been too much to talk about myself. So I was gonna come on here and talk a little bit about myself because it's pertinent to what I'm gonna be talking about in just a minute. But before I jump into that, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Safety and security are two very important aspects. Even we must deal with them on a daily basis and sometimes it can be really hard to find the right solutions. Wouldn't it be great if there was a solution which gets rid of most of the problems? Most internet users aren't even aware of the amount of surveillance, limitation, and data mining done with their personal information on a daily basis. Surfshark VPN can get rid of all these problems for you with an easy to use one for all solution. Surfshark turns you into an anonymous, hard to trace online user and makes the internet a safer and more enjoyable place for you. With the click of a button, you can forget about data mining and intrusive advertisement. Do you know what geoblocking is, Disney Plus or Netflix, for example, have different movies for each country. Access should not be tied to nationality. Surfshark gives you all the access you need. Just connect to the service and refresh the page. Access granted. I use Surfshark every day. It automatically starts up whenever I start my PC and whenever I need it, I activate it with just one click. Use promo code daily to get 83% off plus three extra free months. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk. Surf with your own rules. The link is in the description. And for one more added note, I would just like to add that Surfshark is one of the fastest VPNs that I've ever used there is zero lag. Now as you guys know I have been doing drama for a very long time here on YouTube. I talk about other people's business, I mind other people's business, I gossip, I read <laughs> all these different articles that are posted about all these social media influencers that I talk about all the time like Jeffree Star, David Dobrik, Tana Mojo, Trisha Paytas, Ethan Klein, all these different people right. I actually just did an article with the insider and there was five or six other people in the article along with me that all run different drama channels. We all talk about kind of the same thing, but we all add our own spin on it. And in the article, we pretty much talk about what it's like being a drama channel and the things that we deal with. And I'm just here to say that one of the biggest things that we deal with is the harassment by people that don't like us because we're speaking about their favorites. Well, that's okay. I understand that. I'm fans of people too, but that doesn't mean that I get crazy with it. You know what I mean? But the journalist Lindsay that I worked with made it a very fun experience. So I'm going to link that in the description box for you guys if you would like to check that out. It is on the Insider. I believe it's like a dollar for a trial if you want to read about it. I'm in there. Petty Page is in there. Sharita Explains It All is in there. Hot Tea is in there. And there's someone else, I feel. And I feel like I'm leaving someone out and I feel really bad for it. I just can't think of who it is at the moment. So I apologize for that. But if you guys are definitely invested in what the drama community is and how it works, I would highly suggest checking out this Insider article. It was really a fun thing to do. I did a Skype call with Lindsay and it was a new experience for me. I've done a few interviews in the past, but this was more like I knew it was going to be a thing that people were going to look at. So I was a little bit nervous about it, but I definitely think that it would be worth you checking out if you are into the whole YouTube drama community space that you're now currently watching by watching me. Now, the other day I uploaded a video that it was a true crime video. And in the past, some of you guys may not know, I have done like two or three true crime videos. It's always something that I've been interested in. I like doing that type of stuff. And the reception that you guys gave me was actually really, really, really good. I was surprised to say the least. And the amount of views that it got versus what I thought it was going to get really did shock me. I do want to kind of go in that direction. That does not mean that I'm ever going to get away from drama and voicing my opinion about all these people that I have really come to know in a sense because I've been doing this whole drama thing for five years. It blows my mind to think that I've been on this platform for like five years because in September it will definitely, it'll be five years because I started in 2016 and I uploaded my first video, but I am really invested in the true crime community. I am friends with quite a few people that actually make true crime content because I stand all of these people. The amount of research and dedication that goes into making one of these videos is absolutely crazy. And a lot of people think that it's stressful to run a drama channel like I do, but I'm finding that it's actually kind of depressing to read all of this sad stuff over and over and over again to make different videos. And I feel like every case that I look into or every case that I get interested in, I find that there's like five to ten videos that have been made about that specific case. So I'm finding that that's going to be a big thing for me because I don't want to do what everybody else does. I don't want to step on anybody's toes going into this community. But I think that it'll be refreshing for you guys because you guys have seen so much petty drama over the course of the past like five years that 
it's probably becoming monotonous at this point and it's almost predictable what we're gonna get from these people when you click on these videos it's always almost like the same song and dance you know what I mean but I think that this is gonna be a fun experience and I feel like it's gonna be a way for me to evolve my content because I like editing there's gonna be some editing that goes into it it's gonna be a totally different feel from the whole drama thing like I said I've always enjoyed gossiping and talking about other people's business in some way it's like a form of escapism for me <laughs> I don't know it's really weird it's just funny to come on the internet and talk about all these millionaires that are complaining or whining about something when their life is literally easier than 99.99% .99 of the people that are watching them that's why it always really truly does great on my nerves when youtubers talk about how hard they have it like yes yeah, some have it harder than others but the vast majority of youtubers that have a massive following like the people that I talk about here on this channel they truly don't have anything that they should be complaining about because they have it better than most people but aside from all of that stuff the thing that's really getting to me about the whole drama aspect of everything it's moved away from like petty stuff like people liking tweets and talking about other people and saying like just genuinely bad things about other people into like crimes and people wanting you to expose people for things that you may not feel comfortable in talking about this is not the YouTube community that I joined five years ago it's crazy what it's evolved into and what people expect from us because if one person does something one way that doesn't mean that everybody else is required to do it the same way that person is doing it you tune in to watch what the person gives you on YouTube yes suggestions can be made and things like that ultimately at the end of the day if you're watching somebody's content it should be because you like them not because you hate them now I get a good hate watch I, I have some people that I hate watch quite often that really great on my nerves but I can't help it so I understand that but the vast majority of content that's consumed on YouTube is by people that actually enjoy watching the people that they are supporting by subscribing to their channel right never in a million years did I ever think that I would be talked about with the names of Jeffree Star, James Charles, Tana Mojo, all these different people and never did I ever think that my platform would get to the size that it is now there's a lot of people that really discounted me and threw me away and said that I wouldn't get to where I am and of course my channel is not the biggest I'm not trying to boast about that at all but one of the major driving forces on YouTube are the people that actually hate watch me which is funny because I'm definitely the kind of person that if you tell I'm not gonna be able to do something or that I can't do something I'm gonna do it just to spite you and that's basically got me to where I am now on this platform because there was a lot of people that just said nasty awful horrible things about me when I was not actually doing drama before I got into all of this and then after I did it just got worse but I'm here now and they're not <laughs> but you guys this is just pretty much a random combination of thoughts that I'm having right now at the moment because I'm doing so many different things with my channel now I'm not changing my content completely I'm still gonna be doing the tea stuff I'm just letting you guys know that I am gonna be doing true crime as well and I wanted to thank all of you that watched my previous video on Danica Childs that got a really great reception and some friends of the family actually commented on the video thanking me so that made it worth it for me that made my day and I hope that I'm able to replicate that and duplicate that going forward in the future and of course if you guys ever have any kind of like criticisms of things you want me to do or the way you want me to do the videos that maybe would be more digestible for you please let me know also case suggestions please let me know those as well again if you're interested I do highly suggest checking out the article that I worked with Lindsay on for insider it'll be linked in the description box down below I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.